December, there was a very large public meeting held by the Advisory Council for Historic Preservation, which is a federal group which runs out of Washington, D.C. Now, I know Pat and Owen were there. Was anybody else there? Okay, over 300 people attended. It was, it was well attended. Um, the purpose of the meeting was for the ACHP to take public input on um, Section 106 Historic Preservation Mitigation and the fact that, uh, that this is something that they are required to do when Section 106 Mitigation is terminated. So they held a public meeting. Um, I was impressed with how many people came during with like a week's notice and during the holiday season. And what I was very impressed by was how well educated and well spoken, particularly all of our community members who had signed up in advance to speak. And they stayed on point, which is very hard to do when they were only supposed to be speaking about the historic adverse effect. And so the people that signed up in advance all stayed on point, and then the people that showed up at the door and signed up at the door didn't so much. They were just generally talking about all things growler and EIS related. Um, and then it's been totally quiet since then because we've had a government shutdown. So um, the original plan at the meeting, we were all told if we wanted to provide written public comment to do that by January 3rd and that the ACHP would add until January 14th to, to turn in their information, their recommendation to the Secretary of the Navy, but I received an email the day before the shutdown from the ACHP that said, if there is a shutdown, our deadline will be extended accordingly. So I know that myself and the Trust Board and Helen and all of the community members who wanted to provide written input honored that January 3rd deadline just to be safe and but you know it's it's very quiet we haven't heard anything when I emailed our, our com my comment letter in you know I got a, an immediate response from all the ACH people saying there is a government shutdown we do not have access to our email so we'll just have to wait and see what happens um, 